Welcome guys, welcome to another stream. I'm Ben Gayat and tonight we're gonna watch a race number four of the Gold State XC series. So um, I'm streaming live from Los Angeles. This race was recorded a few weeks ago in uh, Temecula, California. We're in, uh, in Southern California. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. We we have people in the chat interacting, uh, and tonight we have something special. Tonight, you, do you guys want to win some prize? Because tonight we have a giveaway. So Speed Evolution is uh, sponsoring the stream. So they're gonna they're gonna have a, a care package for you guys. Uh, you you can win it. I'm gonna give you uh, gonna give you guys more details in uh, in lap one. And all you have to do is be there. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a giveaway with some cool prizes. All right. So stay stay tuned for that. And uh, all right. So tonight um, tonight the race the race is in uh, Temecula, California. Uh, let's look at the course. So. Um, it, it's a really fun course. It's at Vail Lake, for those who know. So uh, Vail Lake, there's a lot of racing there, endurance racing, enduro. Um, the race is about, um, the course is 10 kilometers long, uh, 180 meters of climbing per lap. So we're going to do three laps in the pro men category tonight. Uh, so that's going to be 30 kilometers, five uh, 540 meters of climbing, about um, I would say 25 between 25 and 28 minutes per lap. So uh, should be a, should be a fun one. Um, here's another view of the course. And tonight, uh, tonight we have a good group of riders. I think we have eight riders. So uh, let's let's look at them. Uh, first of all, we have uh, Carlos McPherson is here with us tonight. So Carlos is uh, is, is Mexican from uh, from Rosarito, Mexico. Uh, he's running. Uh, Six Scott bike, Scott Spark. Um, so he was he was racing with us at the first race in Bonelli. He got uh, third place. Uh, he missed the the next two races. So, but uh, he's back with us. So he's still in the points for the championship. Also in the championship for the season, we have Samuel Brown. So Sam. Sam is from China. He finished fifth last year. He had some some mechanical. Uh, this season, he told me he wants to he wants to win the series. That's his goal. So he's, he's going all out. He's riding for uh, Bear Valley Bikes and uh, Speed Evolution. So Sam is with us. Also, we have uh, Ricardo Banuelos is with us. Also from Mexico, crossed the border to race with us in uh, in Orange County. Uh, he's ra racing for Belfort Factory Team. Also, yeah, the star this season, Josh Tutel is racing with us. So Josh is having an amazing season. He's uh, riding for Neighborhood Cyclery. He's from Norco, California. Um, last year, he finished fourth overall. Uh, this season is currently in third place overall. So he's, uh, he's got a chance to win it. So uh, it's, it's very interesting. We have a camera on him. So uh, stay tuned. We're going we're gonna to watch his footage tonight. Also on the on the grid for tonight, Eden Zer. Uh, so Eden is the is the youngest guy on the grid in the pro men categories from Teca, uh, Tehacapi. I don't know if I pronounced that right. In California, he's running for SDSU. So uh, Eden is with us. So w watch him on course, the youngest uh, youngest guy. And uh, Steven Brofrosky is also with us. Uh, Steven is uh, from Rancho Santa Margarita, California. He's riding for Pedal Industries. He's a he's a fast dude, so uh, check him out. <laughs> he's gonna be fast. Also, um, at the back of the grid, we have uh, that's me, Ben Goyet, riding for Team Dream Team. Um, in the championship, I'm fifth place currently in the series. Uh, having a rough season, but I'm uh, trying to uh, trying to get that back together. And finally, and not last, not least, we have Derek Herman. Derek is with us. So uh, De Derek is the owner of the, the Speed Evolution. Uh, uh, company that we're gonna do a giveaway today, so um, so that, that that's his uh, that's his company. Uh, 
Bear Valley Bikes is his team. He's got a, the biggest team on the grid. So uh, Derek is a, is a veteran rider, a legendary. He's having a rough season too, but uh, he's still uh, he's still in the points. He's still in the in the mix for the for the season overall. So that's the that's the um, that's the grid for tonight. All the pictures you just saw are from. Uh, from Phil Beckman, PB Creative Photo. So check him out, pbcreativephoto.com. If you were at Vail Lake for that race, uh, Phil's got amazing pictures you can you can check. So uh, check him out. It's worth looking. All right, so um, that's it. Um, that's it for the presentation. Here's the is the standing uh, after Bonelli. Uh, so after race number three, so Brian Brian Scarborough is, is still leading with uh, Jean Louis, but they're not here tonight. So um, they're gonna drop down in the in the championship points tonight. We're, we're allowed to miss two races, so um, it's no big deal. They can they can still show up for the for the la the last few races and still uh, fight for the the series overall. And Josh is uh, is now in third place. So that's gonna be interesting to see how it. Uh, how it plays out tonight. So you guys are ready to watch this. We got a lot of people in the chat. We got uh, Andrew Duty is there. Andrew was racing with us at um, St. Inez. So I'm going to stream St. Inez in two weeks. I stream every two weeks. So Andrew is there. Uh, Papa Geno is here. Good evening. We have some uh, Japanese people in the chat. And MIX is here. Jeff, Benjamin, Martin is here. <laughs> How's it going, Martin? Martin, you were here. Martin was race racing with us. For that race, Karen is here. Random. All right, you guys. So let's um, let's jump right into it. Let me know if the sound is good. Um, when uh, when I click Rolling. this button, all right. Rolling. All right, let's do this. Hey, Will's in chat. Fifteen seconds. I'm about to start. You already in chat. All right, let's do this. They're ringing the bell. Five seconds. So we have the pro woman with us. So that's the thing with the big bear racing. Go. Yeah. All right, it's on. Already a, a really strong start by Carlos right there. He's going all in. The two Mexican guys, they start like it's a World Cup, so uh, the, the pace is really high. So Sam, Sam behind me right there, he, he, wa he wants to cover them. So he want, Sam wants a win. He told me he wants a win. Hey, Ken is in the chat. How's it going, Ken? Just in time for the race start. All right, here's the Josh cam. So that's Josh when the, when the cam, when the telemetry on the right is orange, that's Josh. So Josh is uh, he's at the front with the pack, he's in the fifth place. Alright, that's me behind me and Derek at the back. I'm currently in last place in the eighth position. Trying to stay with them because it's a, it's a uphill uh, start. So it starts in a fire road that's uphill and there's a really strong headwind. So I really want to be in the, in the draft at the start. But look at the pace, the pace is insane at 34 kilometers per hour on the telemetry there. It's really fast when going uphill with a with a hand, headwind. So Benjamin is asking, are you heading up to Whistler soon? Oh man, I don't know. I'll see. I don't know. I've never been to Whistler in the in the summer. And look at Carlos there. Carlos, pedaling strong. Josh is still with them. Josh is having a good start. And Honey High is there. All right. You must understand what is written on my Team Dream us. jersey, the cool. Japanese guys. <laughs> Gustavo is here from Mexico. How's it going, Gustavo? Alright, so me and Derek at the back there. We lost contact with the front, but Josh is still with them. So look at the train there. So Josh is in sixth place. It's a single track scenario. Look at that! Ricardo missed the turn. Ricardo was leading. Missed the first turn there in the single track. So he's falling, he's falling behind Josh. So Josh is now moving up into fifth place. Ricardo is now dropping into sixth. All right, super fun section. Look at that, that course is super fun. Martin, you're saying in my race, four of us missed that turn. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah, he was coming fast. You need to pay attention to the arrows. We're gonna see a lot of mistakes tonight. There's a, there's a lot of sketchy stuff. It's uh, yeah, it's gonna be an eventful race. All right, so that's me. I'm, I'm all alone. I really lost contact with them. I don't have a visual. Josh is still uh, still in the mix. All right, it's following Ethan there. Josh is looking behind. Always uh, looking behind. He's chased by wolves. All right, so. 
still still in the back there, trying to make my trying to uh, reconnect with them. So the bike I'm riding again uh, this season, um, all season, it's a Scott Spark RC900. That's my bike. Is what my bike looks like. It's got Spark RC900, 29 inch wheels, as well suspension. It was a good setup. I mean, uh, I, th I think maybe um, maybe Vale Lake was a hardtail uh, setup, it was a hardtail course. But I was still happy with my as well suspension. I, I like it. It helps me uh, keep energy for the final lap. Josh is riding a hardtail Cannondale. So that, that first turn was sketchy, you saw some, some dust in the hair. This this turn right there. So what I did there is I unclipped the, the, the inside left foot, keep pedaling with the outside foot. So I get I got a balance with one clip on foot, but I can still keep the, the speed going by pedaling one footed. That's the thing I, I practice sometimes, I just practice pedaling with, with one foot. Phil Beckman is here for the picture. Those are the pictures you saw in the at the <laughs> intro. Yeah, that was Phil Beckman right there. Yeah, his shot for this race was so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so we're still on the elevation graph where we're not really high so far. <coughs> there's like three three climbs. So that was like the first climb up and down, and then there's two other climbs. It's really fun the way the course is uh, is laid out because it's not just one big climb. So we've got some punchy, punchy climbs. Time to recover. So we're always on the attack. Oh, so can you finish your third race in the weekly series tonight on your fat bike? Why? why? Is there a fat bike category, or did, did you have a last-minute mechanical? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> so are you are you in the in the championship? Are you? Uh, is there is there like a, a standings? We need an update, Ken. We need to follow your uh, your season. All right. So we saw we saw Derek. We're still uh, we're still on the rear camera there. It's not too far from me. You can look at them. I have the Strava flyby. Subscribe, Carlos. Carlos, just subscribe, right? Thanks for joining the the channel. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, if you're new here, uh, hit the subscribe button. I stream every two weeks. All right, there, there, there is the Strava flyby. So the leader, the leaders are right here. Josh is uh, starting to get dropped, and we're connecting with them. And I'm right here with uh, with Derek, and we have the pro women's uh, are, are just uh, with Derek right there. All right, and Dustin. Dustin just subscribe. Alright, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. There's no fat bike category. It was just like you just bike in the shop for a shock problem. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Damn. So still a, a third No, not third not, not third plate. Third race. Andrew just subscribe. Alright, welcome to the channel, Andrew. in the chat you already so so Josh yeah Josh HR so I, th I think Josh told me that he didn't have um is it this race he didn't have his uh, his HR monitor on the uh, his on his garment he didn't have his data so he just went by Phil and he went like all out and he he had like a much better race just by racing by Phil yeah, we're gonna see pretty pretty insane numbers uh, on on Josh's uh, telemetry right there. We also have his cadence, the number that's moving really fast. That's his cadence. Unfortunately, mic and sensors didn't didn't work. So Ken, you're leading your category. All right, that's good. Yeah, you, only two of us, but it's okay. You you beat you beat everyone who don't show up. So that's how it works. So uh, you're still uh, second uh, in the state. <laughs> So 
So Yordi's asking, do you use Shimano or SRAM? So this bike, the Scott Spark RC900, is a 2017 model. It's a mix of SRAM and Shimano. So I have the SRAM drivetrain and Shimano brakes. I really like that because that's I, th I think that's the best of both worlds. I really like the Shimano XTR brakes. Those are my favorite. And and the SRAM 1x12, the SRAM Eagle 1x12 is, is amazing. So uh, I think I think that's the best of both worlds. Just taking a sip there. So Josh isn't far from the from the leaders. It's still very close to them. If you look here, so Josh is right here at, at the turnout. So that's where they're gonna start to go downhill. I'm still right here, and Derek is not that far behind. Gustavo is asking, g give us some uh, advice. I have my uh, five run in the stake gym. What, what advice? Uh, what advice do you need? I think I think you need to go all out, man. If it's the stake champs, you need you need to really train really well and make sure you recover the week before. Make sure you uh, you have a good form. There's nothing you can do to your fitness in the last week. So you, if if you did your homework in the month before. There's nothing you can do with your fitness. You only need to recover and be fresh for your state championship race. All right, so Josh is about to start this ending. I'm almost there. So what do you hit before the race? So I, I personally, I don't hit anything different. I don't know about you guys. What do you guys hit before the race? Personally, I just hit the same thing I always eat. Maple syrup, yeah, that's what you eat, Ken. <laughs> you, you eat a, a dinner of maple syrup. <laughs> no, for me, I, it's the same thing. So there's nothing different. There's nothing that I'm not used to. The thing is, if if you eat healthy and the thing you need all the time, then there's nothing to change before the race. Just make sure you have enough uh, carbs. You don't need to go all out. You know, don't need to uh, go crazy with the spaghetti and, and stuff like that. But just just enough of what you need after your workouts. It's really, it's more, most importantly, it's, it's what you eat after your, your last few workouts. It's gonna be really important to replenish your uh, glucogen stores. All right, so Josh attacking the downhill there for the first time. So I don't know if, if Josh pre-rolled this course. I know he's, he's uh, racing there re really often on the endurance series. For me, I didn't pre-ride, so um, I'm gonna. So I'm starting my downhill hill, my downhill there. I didn't pre-ride, so uh, I'm gonna be a bit cautious on the first lap, trying to see uh, how fast I can push it. It's 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 really fun. That that downhill is so much fun, and it was so clean, and so much grip. This this is a tricky corner. You want to make sure you don't overshoot it, because if you go wide, and you lose a lot of speed. But yeah, this section, uh, left, right, left, right, is so fast, so much grip. And the tires I was using were really good. I, I'm still using the, um, the Cosmic, the Kenda Cosmic, the 2.0. So those are the tires I'm using. Cosmic Light 2 Pro, 2.0. See the, um, the, the spec for hard pack and lose over hard pack. So it's like the best, the best tires I could think of for this course. It was so fun. Look at Josh there, sending it over that hill. You, you could catch some hair, you could scare yourself uh, taking those blind corners a bit too fast. So, am I exceed, you're saying your, your 2018 Spark has SRAM brakes? Yeah, that's the thing, they changed the brakes for this season, right? They put some SRAM on it, took some getting used to. And John is asking, yeah, I thought you were selling your 17 for, yeah, I was supposed to, I, I had like a window of opportunity to, to make it happen, but it didn't happen, so uh, I'm still on my 2017 bike, which, which I, I don't mind, because uh, it's a really good bike, there's not much change, so um, I was just upgrading the, the chorus key. And Andrew saying I eat scrambled eggs and white rice every time, oh yeah, that's a good, like, good carbs and uh, protein. So what what pressures? So I think um, I think I I'm, I went down quite a lot for this uh, this race. I think I'm down to uh, 22, 22 front, 23 rear. 
So I wanted to have a bit more grip at the front, so I want the uh, one PSI lower, so I have a bit less understeer. But yeah, it's, it's funny because when, whenever I try a new tire, I put the pressure I'm used to, to put like 20, between 20 and 22. And then I feel like, oh no, it's way too soft. So I go high, like 25. And then I get used to the tire and then I, and then I will go back down. So that's, so now with, the, with these tires, I'm starting to, uh, to flirt with the limit a bit more. Because I don't know why, when, 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 I, when I was trying them for the first time, my first races in Fontana, I felt like if I didn't put 25, I felt like I was too close to bottoming out. And I feel like it was also maybe dancing a little bit, like it was about to, uh, to burp. But after a few races, I, I feel like I can go much lower. And I, I don't know, how much pressure do you guys use uh, in, uh, in, your, in your bike? So uh, do, you, do you always have the same pressure? Do you change it a lot? Do, do you try to play with the, with the balance? Low pressure for Cindy conditions. Yeah, it depends. I mean, it depends how, how you feel on the course. This course didn't have any like big rock garden. So um, I was a bit comfortable going a bit lower. Kenny saying 20-23. So yeah, so that, that means you have a, a bit more oversteer, I guess. So when you go lower at the front, usually the lower you go, the more grip you have. So if you have more grip at the front than at the rear, then you have a, get, have a, a bike that's a bit more oversteer, or you're gonna correct the understeer. Random is saying 23, 24, and 2.2s. All right, that's a, yeah, we, we all seem to have like a similar offset front rear, a few PSIs. Is anyone mixing the size? Is anyone having a 2.2 at the front and 2.0 at the rear? I never did that, I never tried that, I should try it out. I always have like either both 2.2 or both 2.0s. So right now I have both 2.0s. Alright, so we're, we're on the climb there. It's a long fire roll climb. About It says 2% on the Garmin, 3% for. I think it's a uh, 05. <laughs> yeah, I think that's more 5. Between 5 and 7, maybe. 5 and 6. Feel like that. Look at Josh, he's really attacking it. Almost 180 heart rate. Nolens is saying I actually run a 2.4 icon at the front. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Fat bike was 11, 12 tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's really low. Hey, zero bytes is in the chat. How's it going? Zero bytes. Alright, so, um,. Let's talk about the giveaway. So tonight um, we have a giveaway. So um, we're gonna do it on lap number three. So uh, you have to stick around to lap number three. Uh, we're gonna give away some uh, Speed Evolution products. So this is uh, this is the, the the products. There are some valves and some sealant. So Derek told me um, he's he's willing to uh, to put in in one care package uh, six six valves six valves of your choice, the color you want, the size you want. And he's gonna put some sealant also in the in the bag. So um, whoever wins, uh, you have to be there on lap number three. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do on lap three to participate. And then the winner uh, is gonna get the, the package in the mail from Speed Evolution. So uh, yeah, check them out. I also put the link below to Speed Evolution if you want to check their Facebook page to see um, see all the colors they have, the all the stuff they have. Can you say yeah, the wreck is racing with us? Is that the Let's see, let's see where, where everyone is. Josh is attacking, he's downhill. You get him. Alright, so Josh is here, attacking the downhill. I'm right here, a bit behind. I have the, the, the pro women are catching me. So we have uh, we have Christine and Alisa are catching me. They're, they're, on, they're on my tail almost and uh, Derek is here. And yeah, so the pro women are really killing it on, the, on this first lap. We're gonna, we're gonna see them uh, at the end uh, of this lap. Stay tuned for that. Hey, zero by saying I'm new to your stream. What do you use for your overlays? Oh, you mean for the um, for the telemetry? So I use um, I use Garmin. It's come. It's called Garmin Verb Edit. So you take your um, your your GPX file, you send that, and then it outputs some telemetry like that. You put it wherever you want. So 
John as, is saying, have you ever asked Josh about his end position? You often ride road bike style on the tops. Yeah, so that's for for aero. So um, when when you put your shoulders closer together and your hands like that, you're more aerodynamics. So he's doing that whenever he can. You save a few watts when you do that. You you get get more aero. You do that on a fire road. Josh is a um, he's he used to be a, I mean he's still a triathlete. He's still doing triathlons. So uh, he's he knows all about this stuff. How to save a few watts here and there and how important it is. Mike sees left three or right faster. All right, we're gonna try to pace up. <laughs> All right, doing this downhill. This is the second big downhill. It's super fun. I had so much fun on this course. I wanted to do more laps after the race. And each each lap is gonna get faster on this downhill. I'm gonna start to, to I'm starting to learn it and pushing a bit more. I'm gonna have riders in front of me on the next few laps, so I'm gonna be able to follow them a bit faster. Because when, when you have a guy in front of you, and Josh right there, see, see, look at the position. Josh was in sixth place, now he's in first place. So, so what happened there is the other guys, they missed a turn right there, they missed a turn. So if we look at the, the flyby, oh, I'm a bit uh, ahead in time there. Let me, let, me, let me show you what happened there. So see, Josh, Josh is right there in blue. So Josh take the passes there, but the other guys, they went a bit further down here. So Josh is now in first place. <laughs> so that's that's what happened there. The, the, the lead group missed a turn and they went they went uh, a longer longer distance. So Josh is uh, leading the race. I'm in seventh place. I have the I have the pro women on my tail, so I'm starting uh, I'm starting to feel like the, the wolves are catching me. Everyone's like, yeah, Josh, you're killing it, first place. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Josh took a shortcut. Yeah, he didn't take a shortcut. I mean, he's thinking he took a shortcut. So he told me after the race, nah, I had to get disqualify myself. Uh, you know, he, t he thought he, he he messed up. But no, it's the other guys who messed up. They, they went the longer route. Because usually when we race there, we do the longer section there. But the, there were there were like two two arrows there. It was very clear. I mean, not clear enough for those guys. I guess they, they maybe they just they just were used to keeping going there. Martin saying, "I'm glad it wasn't just me." So you guys too went, went went straight there. I mean, it's coming fast, so you really have to pay attention to the little red arrows there on the white sign. Go, go, go! You, have the, see, you can see the ladies there, the pro women are catching me. Oh, yeah. Wolves. The wolves are chasing me. <laughs> Jeff is saying, I've heard of cutting the course but not making it longer. <laughs> yeah, that happens. section there little jump there you can really stand it I look at the ladies so Christine is on my tail right there and her, her sister Alisa is uh, right with her so they're riding together riding really well looks like good weather there how was it it was really good oh yeah weather was perfect it was just like sometimes it gets really hot in Temecula it's in Orange County but look at the look at the temperature 25 Celsius what is that is that like 70 74 Fahrenheit. It's just perfect weather and, and the, the breeze. Oh yeah, that was good. And look at the look at the ladies. They're, they're seeing me. They're like, oh yeah, we are gonna catch him. We're gonna pass him. So I'm, I'm being hunted now. Wow, perfect riding weather. Yeah. Yeah, we're really lucky. Southern California. If if you wanna if you want some good good riding weather during winter and spring yeah, I think it, it's worth it to, uh, to book a trip all right here they are look at them chasing me going really hard so Christine she's a she's a downhill mountain biker she's racing downhill with her sister 
So they, they know how to ride, they know they know how to race. They've been racing for a long time. They race they race for uh, for Bear Valley bikes with the, in the their X team. So I'm like, alright, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow them. So Josh is still leaning, first place. We're almost at the end of the first lap. Jordi is asking Ben, what is your uh, more longer ride in a bike in terms of kilometers? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe 100 something. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm, when I do big rides, it's always in the mountains. Oh, yeah, sending in on the jump there. <laughs> Look at her having too much fun. Yeah, I think 100 something. 60, 60 something miles. Jason is making fun of me. I'm <laughs> so, so we can see, so we can see that the lead group. I mean, the lead group that took a longer, a longer route. So we can see them. We're like, hey, we're almost catching the lead group. So what's going on? So we're thinking we're we're on fire right now. But I, we, we, we didn't know they took a longer route. Will Ben get dropped by the pro woman? <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Let's see if I can beat them. Let's see if I can stay with them. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. When I, when I was riding, I was like, I must not get dropped. That would look really bad. I, something that happens. Something that happens. The pro woman, sometimes they're really fast. And I think when I used to race against Larry Suck Corner, she would drop me for sure. Uh, Alisa working hard there. So Christine is opening a gap there. So Christine is. Okay. Alright, I'm going for it. Trying to catch Christine. So for those who follow her on Instagram, she's uh, she's also known as Johnny Ringo. That's her. That's her star name. Check her out on Instagram, Johnny Ringo. Guys, do Marine Corps? What's that? What's Marine Corps? <laughs> Trying to flirt. There's no time to flirt. It's time to race. All right. So there's, there was a super fun section. There it was a pump track section. And Josh is uh, completing his first lap. Look at his heart rate, 184. Killing you. First place on. That's the pump track section I'm talking about. Super fun section there. And of course, it's so fun. And yeah, that was my favorite course, I think. I think it's my favorite course ever now in Southern California. It's this new configuration. Like you, like you don't realize that you're done with your lap. You had so much fun attacking the climbs and fast downhills. Yeah. That turn was probably the hardest turn on the course. So slow and so loose. All right. Moving, moving back in front. Are they gonna? Are they? Are they gonna stay with me? All right. That's it for uh, lap one. So we have two laps to go. So stay, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna watch uh, the whole race tonight live. I'm streaming from Los Angeles. And so if you're watching the, the replay, the replay, um, the video is gonna stop here. But you can, you can join my Patreon. If you become a, a Patreon on Patreon, you can watch the full race. So um, it's very easy to become a Patreon. Um, there's a link below. It's a patreoncom slash And what this does, it's a bit like a, a Kickstarter Patreon. So um, you, you you give money to your content creator, but except of, of a one-time donation, it's like a, a monthly thing. So um, what you can do here is uh, you, you you can watch the full the full races, uh, Patreon only videos there. The full race, I put I put the Josh Cam full race on the Josh Cam stream replays there so all you have to do is click become a patreon here and then you choose a pledge um, you can the lowest is one dollar per month so it gives you access to everything on, on my channel so um, yeah I would appreciate if you did that that's uh, really helpful for me and uh, it, it keeps supporting the channel and uh, paying the bills 
So, uh, all right, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Those who watched the replay, and uh, we keep. Oh yeah, and here's the. We are the lead groups. So catch up. Here's the lead groups. We took a round.